Hello everybody, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV here in Central Texas. Today we're going to look at one of the smallest MDC trailers. That's right, it's an off-road trailer. It's the XT12HR. It is only 18 feet, 2 inches long. That is all the way from the spare tire to the hitch. But it is loaded with lots of features. It's got a full bathroom, very modern interior, and lots of rugged gear so you can go off-road and be confident that you're gonna be safe and have a fabulous time. All right, there is so much to see here. We're gonna go inside and get started, so stick with me. There's a lot of style and a lot of rugged details that we're gonna have to review. Let's get started. Stepping inside, I don't have to explain to you how modern and luxurious this feels. Yeah, it's compact, but it feels so open. Let's start with the height. That's always one of the things that makes a small trailer very comfortable. You are at about 6'6 here. Now you're going to lose a few inches if you go underneath the AC, but plenty of height, the white walls, the white ceiling, the black accents. I don't know, it's pretty modern, pretty classic. Right up here in the front, you've got great counter space. Now the kitchen in this trailer is a pullout on the side. We'll look at that in just a minute. Start right here, they do have a sink inside. It's a glass top, so it's countertop when you don't need the sink. The lift up faucet here, it's about six inches deep. So perfect for an inside sink, probably doubles as a bathroom sink for you and plenty of counter space. That's important to me in a small trailer like this because you've got to have some horizontal spaces to set some things down. Let's take a look at the cabinets. Now, these are the push button style where the button pops out, but instead of simply pulling the cabinet open, it has a double catch on it. So you'll wanna turn this and then it opens up. Of course, the gas props are gonna hold that door open. And this is 10 inches deep, so you get plenty of storage space here, and it's identical on the other side. It's a really nice, cleanable black laminate. The reflection probably helps to make this feel so modern and so open, but the best part is, you know, if you get off-road, it's gonna get dusty, it might even get muddy. You just wipe everything down and it is as clean as when you started. The lighting over here is one of the things I really like. Uh, under all three cabinet sets that are up near the ceiling, you have an LED strip that lights up. I'll show you those switches in just a minute. But that keeps this countertop or the seating, wherever you are, lit up nicely in case you're reading, you're working, or, I don't know, prepping food right here on the countertop. You do have 110 plug right here along with the cigarette lighter and the USB plug. It's nice in the corner, out of the way, but very accessible right next to the countertop. Let's look at the storage underneath. I love nothing better than a bank of drawers. It's a little harder to build and it's hard to build so that it stays in place. They have done a great job. Used all the top-notch materials. On the left here, when you open this, the drawer only pulls out maybe about that much. It's not that long. But at four inches deep, you can keep lots of items right here, very accessible. And you have two drawers right on top of each other. You've got some gear on the back side, so it can't be a full depth of the countertop. Now, right over behind me here, these drawers are a little deeper. This is probably six inches deep, and it does take the countertop depth here. So, great drawer there. Same thing underneath, and then let's open this cabinet here because you've got a full cabinet space. That's going to be probably a foot deep, just like these top drawers. And, of course, you could stack clothes. Uh, any type of kitchen things, towels, whatever you need, right there on the bottom. In a small trailer, storage is always really important, so we try to take special care to show you every detail. The bathroom is behind me. Let's take a look. And it may seem a little odd, but 
I don't know the style of this bathroom. It's very clean, very modern, L not a lot of frills, but I don't know. It's really nice how they've designed it. Let's take a peek. Okay, I'm standing in the shower. I'm not going to tell you that this is the biggest, most spacious shower I've ever seen, but it's got plenty of room. And you're right, I'm only five foot tall, but you've still got almost that full six foot five height in here, maybe six foot four, and you do have a little bit of a drop on the lighted fan in the ceiling. Almost every bathroom out there is going to have a power fan, you know, not only for, you know, venting the air in here, but it's also going to be for the humidity. They do something extra in this bathroom. They put a window and this is a nice double paned acrylic window that can open completely. So you can get huge amount of airflow in here. You know, you've also got a blackout screen, so don't get too worried. Uh, I'll show you how those windows work because that's the same window that you have in the main cabin. We'll look at that in just a second. The thing that I like about this is you have a nice column here and it's got the single handle, the adjustable um, shower head. It does have the water saver up there. If you are going off road, that is a must. But it has a good solid towel rack back here. So you've got two different levels of hanging things and you have another cabinet. Let's open this up. You've got a little bit of a curve at the top, but it is about eight inches deep. So you've got a nice storage space. I know the question is gonna be, what if it gets wet in there? And you know what? I'm not gonna tell you that it could never get wet in there, but it's got a nice seal around it. It's not gonna be a common issue. And the door closes, there's a seal there. I mean, this is nice. Did you notice there's no shower curtain in my way? They do a great job in here. Wipe it down easily. And last but never least, you have a cassette toilet. If you're not familiar with cassette toilets, they are the only way to go, especially in an off-road vehicle because you have a suitcase that comes out the side. It holds five gallons and you can dump it anywhere, right? You can take it in a porta potty, you can take it to a dump station, or you could dump it in a toilet in a campground bathroom, just about anywhere. All right, let's step out of here and take a look at some things that, I don't know, might be a little more interesting than a wet bath. In a trailer this size, we always want to take a look at every bit of storage. So right here, we have another storage cabinet. You do have a hanging bar in the top, mirror on the inside, set up for clothes very nicely, but it's also got something special. On the right hand side, you'll see an adjustment for the TV antenna, the fine tuning, because you never know what you might want to do, whether you're off road or maybe you're in a campground. You know, these trailers are versatile. They can go anywhere, but this is a very nice cabinet for clothes. You could also put gear in here. Just of course, whatever works for you. And we're going to take a look down below because the same size cabinet, and it is split up into two shelves. These cabinets are about two and a half feet deep. So there is a ton of space in here. And I really appreciate the fact that it doesn't feel like it's taking up a whole lot of room on the inside of the cabin. You do have half a seat over on that side, the full seating area over here, and the TV on a swivel arm so it can turn any direction right here. Right behind the TV, you'll see the 12 volt plug in, a 110 plug just above it. And in the back, you will see a box with the lift up panel. And that contains the breakers in this trailer. More storage just above it. We're gonna take a look right now. Open that up. You've got storage on the right hand side, over a foot deep. Now on the left hand side, you're gonna have more controls for the electronics the rear view camera, the battery disconnect, and of course, some of these switches for all the features. Let's go through really quickly. Now on the left side is a series of controls. They're very well marked, uh, not really very confusing. On the top left, it's gonna tell you how much is in each tank. Now on this, you've got 42 gallons of fresh water. It is split between two tanks. It's great for balance, it's great for going off road, 
and you've also got 10 gallons of gray water. Your cassette toilet is going to be separate, but because it is on the monitor, uh, it's probably going to read zero. Now on the right, this is controlling the solar. On the roof, 300 watts of solar, and you'll be able to see your input and output through that solar controller. And the buttons on the bottom, very simple. This is going to be the DC outlet. Next to that, you're going to have a, a switch that turns on the power to the fridge and to the cassette toilet. To the right of that, the pump, the hot water, and the furnace. All of those right here. Now, if you're off-road, you don't want any power trickling through those when you're not using them. That's the reason for all the switches. To the right, you've got a battery disconnect. The only time you're really going to use that is if you are in storage. Then you want to turn it off completely so nothing is having a slight draw. Because after all, if you want to get off-grid, it's all about power. All right, let's close that and let's take a quick peek underneath the seat here. Um, there's always something to see underneath the seats in these off-road rigs. Underneath the seating, I think you can really tell the quality of a camper. Now, when I lift this up, you'll see everything is carpeted. There's a hinge on the back, so it's very easy for me to lift this. You can see there's the MPPT controller. You know, that is basically controlling your battery charging. All the gear can be mounted under here, and it's very accessible. If you need to repair or replace something, right here. And in the back, you can see the backside of the outside shower. If you have a leak, a drip, anything you want to check, I love the accessibility of this. In front, you have some venting, and then the controls for the furnace. This is the Truma control, the water heater. It is a tankless water heater. Very efficient, of course. I would expect nothing less on a trailer like this. Down below, simply a carbon monoxide LP detector. It's a combination. Um, let's look on the other side because there's a little more to see under that seat as well. Now over here on the other side, there's a little more to see under the seat. You can see there's the 1500 watt inverter sitting there on top of the wheel well and a little bit more space next to it. There is a little more space right in front for some storage, but you'll want to be careful because there is some wiring here. You don't want to bugger that up. This is a four season prep trailer. So you have switches right here for the tank heaters. That's going to keep your tanks from freezing if you are camping in below 32 degrees. All right. This seating here, it's so comfortable. It's pretty stiff. So if you like those cushy seats where you're gonna sink down in them, this isn't it. But this is the style seating that's not only gonna be durable if it gets dirty, but it's gonna last a long time. No divots in these seats for sure. I love the leatherette feel. You're gonna love that. All right, I want to talk to you about the table because you do have this seating area here. We didn't have the table in here. Um, it is stored outside. It's a lagoon style table, which means it can swivel in any direction. You just slide it in, tighten the connections and move it where you'd like it to be. Yes, you can make it stationary exactly in place so it doesn't move, but it has lots of options, and that is the beauty of a lagoon table. All right, pillow top mattress, it doesn't get much softer than this. Is it a queen? Well, almost. You know, I always have to measure them because you guys ask me, what size is the bed? It is one inch narrower than a queen, but just as long, it's a full 80 inches long. You're not gonna have any trouble fitting those standard queen sheets in there, and gosh, it's gonna be really comfortable. I love the padding on the other side. You know, you happen to brush up against it, it's still gonna be super comfortable. All right, let's look at the windows. Over here, I'm gonna show you how these windows work. Now, if you've seen a lot of videos, you already know, but there's nothing better than these dual pane acrylic windows. Just push this button, undo the latches, and this window opens up. Now this is the style that has three different clicks on it and just after the click you stop pushing on the window and it's going to latch right at that point. When you're ready to let it in, 
just give it a push and it's going to disconnect. I love this window because you have the option to open it in the rain and not get wet inside and you get full air coming through here. There is a blackout shade coming up from the bottom and a screen coming from the top. When I have windows like this, I really like to have the blackout shade part way up and the screen coming down part way. They do clip together very easily and that allows you to have a little bit of privacy and a little bit of air coming through at the same time. All right, storage up here on both sides. I know we looked at this over here. It's just open, kind of bouncing around, but you guys are good. You can follow. So right over here, we've got more storage. Again, these full length cabinets and the stereo with the CD DVD player and the speaker. You have two great speakers outside too. I love outdoor music, all wired into that stereo. It's a good time to tell you also, when you walk in the door, there is two light switches right up here. It took me a while to find these because they're not the normal ones that you find in trailers. It's an easy flat panel right here, just a touch. You can have the under cabinet lights or you can have the ceiling lights. If you're out camping, you may want to limit your lighting because when it's that dark outside, it can be really bright in here. All right, let's close these. A few more interesting things I want to show you over here. We have this unique fan that you'll see in the MDCs. Just pull down the latch and set it wherever you'd like for it to be. This swivels all the way around. You can latch it right back in place, point it up or down. Yes, you're right. My fingers are going inside this fan, but it's a plastic fan. It can't hurt you. On this side, you have switches that will tell you the fan speed. And there's a timer on the other side because you may want that fan to run for an hour. And then once you go to sleep, it can cut off. Really nice feature to have there. You've got three different speeds on it and it's quiet. If you don't need that air conditioner, the fan is going to be a really nice help to you, especially with these big windows on both sides. I've shown you a lot of storage in here. You're going to be asking what's under the bed. So we're going to take a look at that before we go outside. So let's lift up this mattress and I am not going to lie. It takes a little bit of strength because this is a serious mattress, not one of those RV mattresses that everybody jokes about. All right. So looking under here, you can see they have it nicely compartmentalized. Let's open it up. You do have some storage in here. So you've got about, I don't know, five, six inches of flat storage right there. If you open the other side, it is going to be gear. So you don't have any storage on this left side. You can see that's going to be the back of the Truma and your furnace. You've got a little more right up here. Let me see if I can crawl up here and show it to you. That, if you can see in there, we'll try to get a good shot. That is going to be your 200 amp hour battery. This trailer has 200 amp hour battery included in the front. You've got 300 watts of solar, 1500 watt inverter, tank heaters, line heaters. You are ready to go off grid and off road. On the way out, I want to point out the 13.5 air conditioner on the ceiling. Man, that is going to cool this place off really nicely. And you also have this very cool vent. It is not a power fan, which is what you may think. It is a nice skylight. It opens up completely and it has a screen on one side and a blackout shade on the other, just like the windows that you see on the side. I love the LED light around the top. And that LED light is controlled right here on the, on the vent right there. The other switches, as I told you, are right here for one for underneath the cabinets, one for the ceiling lights. Everything else is controlled right down here by the door. All of the outside lights I'm going to tell you about, and there is one for the step light. If you are off grid and it's pitch black outside, you want to know that you can reach in, flip on that step light and be able to get in your trailer. So 
Again, really nice layout right there. That first thing you come to is going to be the step light. Let's go outside and I'm going to show you some cool things about the entrance door. This door feels really solid, but they did some brilliant things. Instead of incorporating the cover with only a screen on the top, this is a full screen door with a mesh on the back, so you're not gonna be poking holes in it. You lift up here and it separates from the back. Let me see if I can do that. And you can see that is a solid screen door. Lots of air coming through there. You do have the curtains on the top because once this door is closed, there is a window at the top and you may want to block that off. But during the day, you want that breeze inside. It's amazing and it feels solid. When this closes, you've got a nice solid door. I also want to point out you have three latch points on this door. So when you're going down the road, if it's not a nice even highway, your door's going to stay shut and it's gonna stay in place. You're not gonna have a lot of problems with this door latch not fitting. Really impressed with that. Solid door here, acrylic window on the top. Uh, this covering at the bottom is for venting that's required in Australia, which is where these were designed. All right, there's a lot to talk about out here, so let's get started. We're gonna start right here, this compartment, and the pull-out tray. Push that down, slide this right out. Now, even though this tray doesn't have a specific use, you could put any type of gear you wanted out here, maybe just some extra storage, and they have created some tie-down points for you to secure it if you'd like to travel with it there. All right, we'll roll this back in. So there is a switch right here for the awning. This is a nine foot eight awning. It's gonna create a great outdoor shade for you. Speakers outside, like I told you, two of them right up here. So coming around the back, you can see the gray tank flush right here. You know, the anchor points that are on the back of this off-road trailer. They do have a nice bar on the back. It is bolted in there and that is gonna keep you from hitting anything when you're backing up. It's a good time to bring up the black alloy wheels that they use on this, 16 inch tires. What a great job, tons of clearance underneath. We're gonna talk about structure and chassis. MDC has a lifetime warranty on their chassis. They have a galvanized steel hot rolled frame, one of the toughest in the business. And the suspension, we're gonna to get to that in just a second. While I'm here, I don't wanna pass up showing you the cassette toilet. If you're not familiar with a cassette toilet, it's very simple to use. Just gonna give you a quick overview. Just pull out the cassette, it closes completely. Lift out the handle and you can roll it to any toilet or dump station anywhere. To dump it, you just twist this out. And then when you lift it up, there's handles on both ends. There is an air release here so it dumps smoothly and then simply put the cap back on, roll it back into place, and when you're back at your trailer, slide it right back in, and it's ready to use again. So it's very simple to use. Let's look underneath here. I wanted to point out, you've got the gray tank on the back, and then one of your freshwater tanks up in front of it, and they are wrapped. They have the diamond plate aluminum there, and so they are protected. It is basically your skid plates on the back and you also can see that they are heated as well. So if you're in cold weather, it's not a problem. These jacks may be a little different than you've seen on a standard trailer. Uh, you have a crank right here in the center to raise and lower them and they simply fold away. It's very simple to do. This blue handle pulls out, releases them, and you fold them up out of the way. So once you're hooked up to your tow vehicle, it's very easy to put up your stabilizer jacks in the back. Now, moving forward, right here, you've got your water inlet for filling that fresh water tank, and of course, a connection here if you wanna use any type of hydrant water. Outside shower, hot and cold with the handheld, 
and right above me you'll see a rail for the shower tent. Yes, this comes equipped with a shower tent. I believe it's right up in the compartment in front of us, so we'll take a look at that. It really is great to have this nice shower on the outside. You know, if you are doing a lot of outdoor activities, you can get really sweaty, really muddy, really dirty. A quick outside rinse can be invaluable. Now stepping right in front of this is the Truma. This is the tankless water heater and the furnace outlet right here. Right above that, you'll see the storage compartment and it will have our outdoor shower in it. These doors are really nicely done. If you can't tell, they've got some weight to them. They're not a flimsy door that just folds down. This is a composite exterior, so it's going to be very durable. It's impervious to water, and it's got a triple seal around it so you don't get dust, water, or any road grime inside your compartments. Everything stays clean. These handles tighten everything up when you twist them. Everything is sucked in, so you've got a really nice seal there. Now, let's look underneath because this is a good time to talk about the suspension. When you look at this trailer, you have this coiled independent suspension down here. When it comes to independent suspension, the X-Track suspension trailing arms and the Tough Tracks Big Boy shock absorbers make this one of the toughest packages for off-road travel. Now, if you're not off-road, they do also have the Trail Assure system, and that is an electronic stability control. And that basically monitors the vehicles and checks in 200 times per second. That is applying the brakes individually as you go down the road for amazing stability. Now, once you go off-road, that's gonna go into sleep mode. The second water tank is just in front of that great suspension, and it is gonna have the same skid plates and the same heat as the one in the back. Now, we talked about the construction of the composite on the sides. We have the galvanized steel frame. One thing I wanna point out is that they have a very unique flooring. It is a fiberglass honeycomb hybrid composite. Now, what does that mean? That means it's not gonna rot or rust, it's water resistant, and it's lightweight. All right, more to see on the front. Let's take a look. You have framing here for two five gallon jerry cans on both sides. A really nice sturdy box in the front. Let's take a look in there. Pull this forward just a bit. This is gonna be your two five gallon propane tanks. I love the fact that the entire bottom of it is a welded frame, so you've got plenty of airflow and nothing to clean out underneath. These locks are very durable here, gonna keep it nice and safe and protected from any brush. Coming around the front, you do have a hydrant here, heavy duty chains, hooks on it of course, but let's talk about this hitch. They have a DO35 hitch and you know, if you're looking for an off-road hitch that's going to go everywhere you want to go, you're not going to have any problems with it. I am a huge fan of this. And let me tell you why. When I connect this, it moves around, it's easy to connect, it does everything I need it to do, and it doesn't bind up when I'm ready to disconnect. Let me show you briefly how that works. I've got the hitch here. Very simple mechanism. You know, it is stronger than the previous hitches that Cruise Master has made, and it's stronger. This drops right up in here, and once you get that pin in, you just push this button and latch it in place. Very simple to do, and you have a cover that drops right on top to be sure it stays uh, clean of all the debris and the road dust. Uh, again, very lightweight, easy to use, huge fan of this hitch. You'll notice we have an Anderson plug right here. Um, the Anderson plug, if you're not familiar with it, you can look on our Tech Tour channel. We're gonna have a little more details on why you would want it, but basically it connects to the DC to DC charger. It takes a lot more current to go in and get that battery charged up when you're going down the road. Now you are gonna to have to add this plug to your vehicle on the other side. 
You have a really heavy duty bogey wheel here that is gonna swivel up out of the way whenever you're done with it. And a handbrake, that's gonna lock your wheels in place when you're set up for camp. Coming around the corner, we've got a little more storage. And while I'm unlocking this, you notice they've got stickers for all of the great gear that is on this trailer. So if you want to learn more about what they have included in the MDC trailers, check out these stickers. You can always learn a lot online. Okay, there is a nice slide out tray here. It has two catches. Let me get this out. Now inside, you'll see this is the table uh, that we talked about inside uh, that swivels around and um, this tray is specifically designed if you want to have an outside cooler. You do have the 12 volt plug right here. Now, if that's not something that you need, then this could carry more gear for you. Slides right back in, has a nice light inside that's going to make it easy to see what you have in there. You do have hot and cold water right here and a gas plug because right next door is the pullout kitchen. Guys, these doors are heavy. It is just so impressive to see the weight in those because they're meant to be tight, they're meant to be solid, and not deteriorate with years of use. Let's take a look at this kitchen. Lift up there, it's got two latches on the front. There is the bottle opener right on the end. Nice touch there, MDC. And let's lift that up. Countertop that flips over. Now there is a leg that you can put right under here. This is a large pull-out kitchen. So when you're camping permanently and have it set up, you wanna add that in. We've got it to the side just for ease of showing you how it works. So you've got a wind uh, panel there, but you can easily lay it down. I am on the far side of this for filming, but you can lift this up. You can see it's a very nice three burner stove. This piece is going to be the shelving. Unlatch it there, lift it up, and everything is going to fall into place here. You have a nice two shelf system and a sink with the faucet that simply folds up. Very nice outdoor setup here. So this is gonna take care of all your cooking needs. You're right outside. Now, if you need a little more prep space, there is a nice fold down table here and this makes a great outdoor kitchen. I don't want to forget to point out that there is really nice pull-out drawers here underneath this kitchen. It is such a compact yet very usable trailer if you want to get off the grid and away from everything. We love representing MDC. They do a great job and this XT12HR is no exception. It's small, it's compact, but you have to admit, it has a little of everything in it and it is built to get off road. So if that's where you wanna go, give us a call here at Princess Craft. We'll be glad to answer all your questions. Thanks for watching. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV and I will see you next time.